How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Dragon Fable video. I'm your host Carbon Gaming and the release is finally here. So once again we got another uh, little bit of a delay for the release. Unfortunately uh, Tomix or Dove's internet actually went down and it is totally not their fault for this. So please don't go and bash the developers on this. I know they do a really really good job of trying to get the releases out and everybody is very excited. Uh, they do have quite a lot of workload more so this month because it's the Dragon Faber anniversary month and I think they've been doing a fantastic job so far of keeping us updated and of course keeping the game updated but without further ado let us jump right into the release okay so uh, Sun 4 part 1 this week book 3's main story continues with the golden hand ready to take control of the rift it's time to begin the assault on the massive titan threatening sword haven but with everything on your shoulders will the plan even work there's only one way to find out Play this week's release, Sunfall Part 1. Let's go to Book 3, Sword Haven. And I would expect that you need to complete all of the quests prior to that first. So if you haven't already, then you need to do those before you can access this one. Let's go to the Green Guard Alliance. And uh, I actually picked the side of the... Man, I can't even remember what these people are called. The, the mana people, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna call them. But okay, Sunfall Part 1, let's go. I hope the music isn't too loud. I'm going to play this with music because uh, Dragon Fable cutscenes usually come with uh, pretty nice music and it really helps to set the mood and the tone. Okay, I'm going to lower the volume just a little bit. Right, you're here at last. Everything has been prepared for your mission. With the aid of the Rose, we've managed to secure an area outside Sword Haven. The Dragon Riders are ready and waiting. Our energizers are in place to enhance the Ballista. The Rose is prepared. Ostromia has managed to wrest some control of the proclamation. Our position grows more tenuous, however, the knights won't be able to hold out for too much longer. I can hold this for now, but please, hurry. The Balliste and the Dragon Riders will be a distraction. While the Titan focuses on our attack, we'll send you up to face it. Are you ready? We don't know what you'll find up there, but you're, but you're resourceful, you're our hero. We're sure you'll find a way to force back the Titan. I appreciate your confidence in my abilities, what, but what if things go wrong? Should the worst occur, the Golden Hand will shrink the rift and we will be forced to figure out another way to deal with the Titan. Regarding that, Grand Magus Hansa, have you heard back from Lady Jania yet? Unfortunately not, Lady Jania is still recovering, she has yet to leave her study. I see, that is very troubling however. We don't know how long we have left on this barrier, we must act while we can. We have no time to waste, I know we are asking a lot of you, I prepared for this. I'm ready as I'll ever be, I suppose. Good, Kara, the protection spell is ready, is it not? Lady Kara? Oh, my apologies. Yes, with the sample provided, we have the spell ready to cast. You and Destroyer will be prepared and protected before you head off. Uh, about that, how am I reaching the Titan again? We put out something special from the workshops for this. The Pactoc no Knights of Oaklaw have had designs for a catapult capable of firing a person great distances. Oh my gosh, are they really going to fire us out of the catapult? Wow, this is like throwback to old Dragon Favor days where you had the catapult launching some random knight into the sky. It just so happens that we commissioned that we commissioned a replica of such a marvel of engineering some time ago. Can't you just evolve our dragon with the dragon amulet and fly up there? I uh Yeah, let's go with the freaking dragon. Nope, not a no, not a chance. I am not getting in that catapult. I'm sure it took a lot of effort to dust it off and set it up. Wait, this thing was just put out of storage? Well, I wouldn't call the junk pile storage exactly. <laughs> right, well, I have my dragon amulet and I have destroyed by my side. Now, that is looking like more logical, alright. We'll fly up there, no catapults required. Fine, let's move up. That should cover both of you. Be careful, there's no knowing what you'll find up there. Destroyer will be there with me too, I won't be alone. Very well, we'll start the assault. Begin firing the Ballista. Alright. Ooh, this is the music for Egomaniacs. Wow, I, I like this music. Let's just do... Uh, water and Ice, is it? Yeah, actually it doesn't matter. Oh, what's faster is Snap actually faster. It's gonna do Gambit and Snap. Uh, obliterate, right? Nope, it is not faster, unfortunately. Uh, we'll just do Fury. 
got two HP. Oh, okay. Dot kills him. I uh, guess we have to use Entangle then. Ooh, okay, two of them. We just do so rip. Now we will do uh, dominance. Nice. Last one, hopefully. I think Snap should kill this guy. Yep. Okay, untangle. And it is actually like 1am for me right now but you know still awake, still uh, uh, doing random stuff that when I should obviously be asleep but you know uh, not asleep yet so that's why you guys have this video this late for me and yeah. Anyways tomorrow will be, um, no I already did the AQ video today, uh, technically it's tomorrow already so yeah whatever. Let's do dominance, that should kill them. So by the time I release this video, it'll probably be 1.30 a.m. I don't know, depending on how long this video will. Ooh, Radiant Leech. I don't get a full heal. Okay, uh, fire and light, no go. Let's put it as nature then. Doesn't really matter what else we use. Okay, hmm, what shall we do first? Uh, let's blind it first, Elemental Unity. Never faced this guy before, don't know what to expect. Sort of a mini boss, I guess, with 8.8k HP. Let's do Outrage. Let's see how strong are his attacks. Charges his carapace. Okay. Doesn't matter, we have 61 all with the new uh, latest helmet we got from Inevitable e Equilibrium. And I must say, the end game gear currently looks extremely good. Okay, let's do Vengeance. We'll unempower this first because we don't really need it. Um, let's do scout, I guess. He charges again. Okay. Let's do gambit now. Assault. Let's do overcharge. He charged again. Oh, oh, three hundred and five. Wow. Okay. Let's do soul shred. All faulty. Wow. Okay, that's pretty high. Uh, oh, he just increases his bonus to hit. Okay, but his bonus to hit. Oh, oh, cause of my nerf. Of cause of my soul. The soul shred. Right. Yeah. Do you actually get to stun him? Oh, his charging just increases his uh, his uh bonus to hit. Yeah, it actually doesn't. I think it increases his damage. Oh yeah, boost 80%. Wow, it's a 20% damage increase each turn if I'm not wrong. That's crazy, man. What? Wait, what? Oh, his all resistance is increasing as well. Holy crap. That is not good. Whew. Wow, this is a tougher boss than I thought. Jeez. Okay, let's do so slice. Wait, what? Huh? Okay, that's not good. Are we supposed to... Bursting with energy? I'm a bit confused. What are we supposed to do now? Uh, doing more hits isn't doing anything. Oh wow, okay. Need to wait for him to unleash like that. Okay, okay. Gambit again, Soul Siphon. Yeah, okay, after he unleashes, you can hurt him again. Yeah. So you should save up for his nuke, I guess. Yeah, definitely save up for his nuke, then you'll be fine. Let's do Sunder. Or Vengeance, I don't know. Okay. 
It's moderately difficult if you're not prepared, but uh, if you're using a class like Soul Weaver, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Let's do Soul Slice. Scout. Yeah, he's, he's hitting really, really hard. Uh, aggression. Should be able to kill him before he kills us though. Just gonna race him to the finish. He is getting some... Yeah, okay, we are, we are not gonna beat him there. Unfortunately, no. Because of his damage. Oh, man. RIP. Okay, let's drink a health potion. Is it cause of the gambit? That's why he's doing so much damage. Maybe it is. Yeah, I think it's cause of the gambit. Shouldn't be doing that much damage. Am I still under the gambit effects? Yes, I am. Uh, what should I do now? Hmm. Let's just do gambit again. Slice. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Wait. Yeah, I screwed up. I screwed up there. Woo! Wow, that was close. Uh, I'm tempted to do ages, but I'm just gonna do this. Obviously, this is not the best way to do the fight. This is a very bad way of doing the fight. It's a very bad example, but you know, doesn't matter. We still win either way. That's how OP Chaos Weaver is. Against any storyline boss, it's not that difficult, but yeah. Alright. There's a portal there. This is not far, not far enough. You have to find an... Hmm. Doesn't look like it's being pushed back far enough. This is a bad idea. I know this is a bad idea, but I'm the only one who can do it. You have to try. You're right. Ready destroyer, it's hero time. Wow. Are you gonna jump in or something? I don't know. What what was that exactly? Was that a hole? Come on, why are you taking so long to load? Oh jeez, please don't tell me you're stuck. God, are you serious? Oh my god. Oh, okay, fine, loaded. Leech scale binding uh, 7. Okay, level 90. Light, energy, fire, all. Wow, this is a pretty good belt for resist for resistance against light, energy, and fire, actually. Uh, the stats wise, they are not that great, but yeah, against light, energy, and fire resist, this is a good belt to go for. What, what does our current belt give us? 10 or yep we are going for light energy and fire then this will be a good belt <coughs> i'm not sure if it's the new best in slot for these three resists in terms of belt we have to check on that but yeah 13 is pretty good overall just complete the quest see if we get the level 90 version come on nope dang okay but yeah wow this was a very very exciting release man i love it <laughs> Wait, why did I go to house? Okay, so yeah, I think the release was awesome. The music synced really well. The boss fight was, uh, I would say it's a pretty fun boss fight, okay? For the normal player, I think it, it would pose a bit of a challenge. I don't know if I want to release a video uh, using a regular class, but if you show up at the right time uh, to circumvent, to prevent his new attack, then you should be good to go. I think even base class should be able to do the the monster rather easily the boss rather easily okay so once he hits 100 all resist um he breaks for one turn and then the next turn he starts to nuke you so just get your shield ready by then and you should be able to avoid it and the reason why he was doing so much damage to me another thing was also cause i had my all resistance lowered cause of uh, gambit's effects but if you're using something else other than chaos weaver he shouldn't be doing that much damage to you so yeah Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel for more such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Peace out.